There you go. There you go. You got it. No, you don't. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna continue working on our 2020 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon. And as you've seen in the previous video, we finally got this sucker painted. It looks absolutely amazing, but it is far from perfect because there's trash throughout the entire paint job. And mainly in this area right here, we do got a couple rough patches that we're actually gonna try to save without having to repaint. So the first thing that we wanna do is actually bring some sandpaper out, color sand this entire area, then break out the buffer and try to get it smooth. guys so check this out we got some good news we went through our steps of color sanding and we actually got this fender nice and flat looks really good and this was our worst panel so that means we can save everything else so before we break out the buffer I want to go ahead and actually sand this whole entire side and then we'll break it out and start making some glass completely wet sanded it did take a good bit of time but we had to go through all the steps the 1500 the 2000 the 2500 and even the 3000 grit but as you can tell there we got the perfect finish we were able to get out all the orange peel and all the trash which is a good sign because we are going to be able to save this paint now all we got to do is throw some plastic wrap over that interior slap this onto the buffer and start buffing and make this thing look almost oem Son. So that very first panel that we buffed right there, that quarter panel turned out absolutely amazing. Almost OEM finish, other than the swirls right there, which we will get rid of later, right? Oh yeah, that'll be the last step after we buff everything. But dude, they actually buffed out quick, nice dude. Nice and smooth. Them steps that we took definitely are paying off right now. But what are you doing with the hinges right there? I noticed you Oh, I just want to go ahead and tape them off because this buffer will buff through them if I'm not careful enough. And I don't want compound to get stuck in them because then it'll be super hard to get out. But right now, what do you say? Just keep on buffing? Yeah, let's just keep on buffing and then we'll probably move on to swirl mark remover later. We just completely buffed this whole entire side. It looks absolutely amazing. But we got one more last step to go, and that's actually swirl mark remove this whole entire side. We got some right here that got crushed by the lift, but there's still some good stuff in there. And we got our finishing pad on the buffer, nice soft pad. So let's go ahead and actually swirl mark remove this whole entire side, and that should be it. Guys, check that out. We finally got this thing swirl mark removed and it looks really good, but it did get super late on us because this did take a long time to do, but we're gonna catch you guys tomorrow in the morning. 
All right, so it is the next day here, and look at that. Looks absolutely amazing. Looks just like glass, just like we wanted it to. But right now, we're actually gonna pull this sucker outside, give it a quick wash, that way this residue doesn't dry on us. And then it's gonna be the moment of truth. We're gonna probably test the bed, and that's just gonna tell us if we need to paint anymore, dude. All right, so we quickly pull this thing out into the sunlight just to make sure we got rid of all the swirls and all the scratches, and look at that, man. It looks absolutely amazing. I think it's time to do a wash and then throw on that bed. shiny everything is uh, crisp now let's slap on that bed over there just chilling on the side see if it matches up dude let's yep. do it man. i think this is good this is perfect right here let's maybe see. i'll pull in just a little bit just so the oh, back yeah, yeah. end is out yeah go that bed is pretty dang it's heavy. pretty dang heavy we had to add three people last time this time we're gonna do it with two let's see i think we can handle it dang look at that glass it looks like an ice skating rink looks like a freshly glazed ice skating rink right here dude Oh, that's perfect, man. That's exactly what the rest of the Jeep looks like, right? That mm -hmm. sign kind of looks a little shinier because we uh, polished it, right? Yeah, the rest of the Jeep has this little little wear and tear from off-road use that somebody from Honolulu probably... Yeah, the sand scratching the up sand against the paint. Up a bit. But anyways, let's go ahead and get that bed and slap it on there. All right, so before we can get this bed on, we did run into a little issue when we were removing this bed. This little nut right here that's supposed to be tack welded on inside this rail broke off on us. Now we need to weld it back into place. There's really no way to get up in here with the welder, so we're thinking we're just gonna drill a hole right along that rail. As you can tell, there is a couple holes right there, so I think we can live with another hole in it, right? Oh yeah, definitely. So well, weight that's reduction. The, that's the only way we can actually put this sucker back with welding it, because there's just no way underneath there. Exactly, so yeah, let's go ahead, drill a hole in it, get it welded on, and throw this bed on. Potato. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Dang, dude, that joint is on fire. Careful. Ooh. That thing is hot. It melted my skin a little bit, but man, it's ready, dude. It's ready to go. Let's let's toss it on there. Let's do it. Dang, dude, that sucker was a tough one right there. It's pretty heavy, but it was a lot easier putting it on than it was taking it off. Oh yeah, definitely a lot easier. But dude, check that match out, dude. Is that not a perfect match or what? Dude, that looks pretty dang close to me. I think it's perfect, honestly. Yeah, there's a few scratches in it that we'll probably try to buff out. But other than that, dude, look, that is... Look, our paint job is smoother than this one almost. Oh, that ain't good. We may have to smooth it out yeah, a little Yeah, that's bit. what I'm thinking. But no big deal. I mean, we have to buff it because there is some scratches right here. So we'll probably just surface buff that out. But dude, that, the that Jeep is... is... Hey, it looks so much better with the bed on, dude. Look, that's what I was going to say. It looks way different with the bed on. It looks way better. It actually looks like a truck because without the bed, dude, we got used to that a little bit. Yeah, we got used to that flatbed style look, but it was kind of getting a little funky on us. Oh, yeah, dude. Let's back it back it up in the light a little yeah, let's bit. Let's see what it looks like in the sunlight. All right, let's get some of these sun rays on this thing. Whoo-wee. All right, that's good right there. Dude, we're good. We don't got to paint no more. Let me see. There may be a slight variation because it's a fresh clear coat versus an old clear coat, yeah, but definitely. there's no need to do any type of repainting. But I just actually seen something over here. 
I seen a little nick in our tailgate right there. Oh, dang. I didn't even know that. Oh, my goodness, man. That sucks. So, we are probably going to have to paint unless you don't want to, unless you run it, you want to run it like the Duramax. I mean, the Duramax, you know, gives it a little bit more character in the back. Right. But I don't know. We'll probably uh, do that a little bit later. Maybe we'll pop it out with some, like, dentless, you know, maybe. Pop, pop, whatever. Popless, dentless. <laughs> whatever. There is a little crease, though. So, if you do want it perfect, you're probably going to have to paint it, but. Other than that, dude, this thing is starting to come together, dude. Yeah, it's looking real nice. Now it's time to pretty much secure that bed. So the bed is finally nice and secured, right? And we all had to align it and all that good stuff. Yeah, we had to make sure it has the perfect gap on both sides and it's all 100%. Uh, let's see if that tail light yeah, actually works. Cause dude. we did fix those wires that were kind of- Kind of like chewed up chewed and up. ripped up. So let, I'm about to cut it on, see if that sucker lights up. So I remember it was this tail light that didn't work. Go ahead and smash that. Ooh, dude, yes sir. It looks sick too. Dang. Hey, dude, I forgot how sick these things look. I love how that red just goes all the way dude, around like that. Dude. Like a halo or something, a rear headlight or a taillight halo, dude. Taillight halo, whatever. So there's really no need for aftermarket taillights, oh, dude. Oh, no, dude. Or headlights. Jeep knocked it out with these, man. They look really good. But right now, what do you want to do? We could either buff this bed or we could start putting together the doors or we can head to the dealership. They have a few parts for us. We oh, got dude, tons I, of options. I say we just go ahead and start putting together those doors. My goodness but we got the majority of the door put together except for this handle this thing pops right off well that this handle is together it's just that little piece that actually goes right here we're missing and that's what holds everything in place but yeah so we need to purchase that actually once we go to the dealership but dang dude it function proper functions properly the window goes up and down it's we do have a little thing on the window though let me go ahead and roll it up you get uh, i need to i need to turn it on turn for on you on that power sir there's power I can control it from up there too. Oh, Did you know that? Oh man, that's a deep one right there. What do you want to do? Throw the buffer at it? Man, I'll get that out with the buffer, no problem. But right now, let's go ahead and actually jump on this front door and see if we can get it knocked out. So we finally got both doors put back together and they look absolutely amazing except for a little miscellaneous pieces that we are missing like this little cover right here that actually holds that door handle in because as you can tell i can just pop that sucker off and call somebody right now <laughs> it's a bluetooth door handle it's bluetooth hey you can this is so nobody can steal your car man you just pop all your four door handles put them in your little purse and just go but we are missing a mirror too we thought it was going to come with our new door but it didn't so we're going to have to put an order in on a few miscellaneous pieces but other than that what do you want to do uh, go ahead and reattach this Antenna. We gotta have some radio. We gotta jam while we do our very first test drive. That's what we're about to do, actually, right? We are. Yes, sir. That's I'm gonna be sketchy. I'm kind of afraid of getting some rock chips oh, in this area, dude. Don't want that. We'll probably slap that uh, fender flare on Just there. Just temporarily, and then we're gonna get rid of those because we're not gonna use those. You and know? we need to throw on our windshield wipers as well because you never know, it might hit some mud and you wipe it off the windshield. Exactly. <laughs> so let's go ahead and take care of these little things. Let's do it.
Oh my goodness, this thing is starting to look clean. For a stock Jeep, it looks pretty dang good, but it's not gonna stay stock for too long. Dang, them LED lights and everything are working nice. Right now, we're actually gonna go ahead and pop on the hard top, and I'm not sure if we'll make it for our test drive. I was saying, I don't know if we'll make it for our test drive tonight, because it's gonna be dark. Or maybe we will. Let's see, let's see what we can come up with. Let's right, go on that hard top. Let's do it. All right, so we finally got the hard top on and it looks amazing. We finally got this thing to the original Rubicon spec. And this thing has come a long ways. Let's go to the damage side. Why are we looking at the OEM side over here? I know, we didn't do nothing on that side. Look at this, man. This looks original. I gotta say, this side probably looks better than that side. Oh yeah, know. after that buff and polish and everything, we're definitely gonna have to like polish out the whole entire Jeep just to get it shining yeah, like that. Yeah, exactly. We will give it a nice little complete detail, but we did pop on all the fender flares so we don't chip any paint. Let's walk over here. I did notice one thing about the original paint and we thought we had a little discoloration on that side, but look at this. This right here is a plastic piece and this right here here is a yeah you can definitely piece. see it's like a little bit darker i don't know if the camera can catch it since the sun is going down but we thought that ours was kind of off but that's just how it is around and here and check out with the bed over here too i did notice that the bed seems lighter than the quarter panel right does yeah, it look like that on camera yeah it definitely looks like that on camera i'm just guessing that's how like the body panels curve and stuff like that we thought we had a little issue but that's exactly how the oem side is as well exactly so no worries there but we are going to pick up a few little things from the dealership like this glass you may have noticed it's uh, actually busted and also we're we're not gonna do a test drive until we get our seat belts in, so we're probably gonna catch you guys tomorrow in the morning. All right, so it is the next day. We went ahead and dropped the top. That way we get better visibility because we are installing our seat belts. These suckers got rebuilt by Safety Restore. They rebuilt seat belts and airbag modules, but we only rebuilt our seat belts because this Jeep should reset itself. So let's go ahead and crack these suckers open, throw them in, and hopefully go for our first test drive. All right, so check this out, guys. We finally got both of our seat belts in. Got all the trim in over that seat belt on that side. Over on this side, we are missing that piece right there because this one is all bent out of shape, which we're gonna go pick up a brand new one from the dealership right now, right? Oh yeah, and we went ahead and actually changed the clips out of this airbag, so that should be good right there. And we threw in the seat airbag as well. Even though that's ripped, we're just wanting that light to go off and our seat belts to actually function properly. So hopefully we can go ahead and start this thing up and all the lights cut off and uh, hit the road. Yes, sir, and before we actually Actually started up let's just go ahead and throw on that hard top over there that way we can just shoot straight from the dealership let's do it all righty boys we are ready to go but before we hit the road we got to take all safety precautions we're going to check all the turn signals right yeah go ahead and give me a little thumbs up all right left right i'm gonna check the back right quick i know our headlights are working tail lights started working left turn signal yes sir right turn signal oh man i wish they did like a little orange uh halo that'd be pretty sweet but that doesn't matter. Let's hit the road here. All right, here it goes. Everything good. Did the airbag light cut off or is the airbag light still on? No, it cut off. Nice, dude. Airbag light is off. This thing is really silent, dude. I don't, I don't even hear it running right now. No, it's nice and quiet. I kind of like it, dude. All right, and we are off. Very first test drive. Well, we drove it home from like a couple. couple yeah, but that did not count. That didn't count <laughs> a couple feet. But I mean, there was no like serious actual frame damage. There was just a uh, tub damage. So. I don't think there's anything to do with alignment, right? There's oh, nothing, dude. I'm about to see uh, on this high speed, see how this steering wheel actually sits, which I think it sits pretty dang good. Hey, we're gonna send, we're sending it straight for the highway. So we're heading to the dealership. You do gotta hit the highway to get there. Oh, and dude, so it, far it's smooth, right? It runs smooth. The manual gets a little getting used to, you know, it's a lot different from like, I'm used to driving the Mustang. You ready to get up to speed? Let's get up to speed. Let's see that zero to 60. Hit 
360 pretty quick in what about 6.2 seconds yeah about 6.2 yeah. seconds uh, are these 33s that are on this uh, jeep or are they like 32s or i think something? they're like 32s but yeah actually uh went up pretty dang quick but i can only imagine once we put like 37s on it and I can only imagine how, how well it pulls up the yeah. hills and stuff. I'm thinking we're definitely going to have to uh, gear the axles, right? Yeah, we'll probably need to gear them uh, to what? What do you think we should gear them to on, on 37s? Like um, 488 this, or something? Yeah, 488. This comes stock with 410s, I believe, so we're going to have to definitely gear it up or gear it down. I forget which one you do. We'll figure that out later, though. Definitely. Oh, snap. That's freaking cool, dude. I didn't know you could do that. So you could turn it on for only like probably 10 seconds uh, yeah, or so. Yeah, I think it runs for like 10 seconds, but that is awesome. Look right how there. high quality that is, dude. Yeah. That is the highest qualities on any car that we own dude better than lambo ferrari oh, for, man those on the lambo and ferrari those uh, screens are very dull. lowest <laughs> quality i think the mustang little tiny screens higher quality than the lamborghini probably one. but yeah we got a little bit more to go and we're gonna probably catch you guys at the dealership here in Ringgold, Georgia, and we got all the parts in the back of our truck. And can you guess which one is ours? You probably won't be able to tell, but it's the only red one in the fleet over here. But these are all Rubicons here. They all got their own different characters, pretty dang sick. Some of them got the base model headlights. Some of them got the Rubicon headlights, my favorite. But let's walk over to ours and let's see if we can tell some differences between this one and this one over here. As you can tell, that bumper right there has got some weird bolts in it because that is a full metal bumper, heavy duty. I wonder if that's stock right there. That's probably just like the highest of the high model right there. And also look at this front facing camera. That is definitely sick. Dang, I wonder if we can do that, like snap it in, just plug it in and see if it'll work. I mean, we got that super high quality camera, so I think that'd be awesome just to have, you know, off-roading or in traffic or whatnot. Let's walk to the back end of them. They all have their little different characters in the back as well. Some of them got tonneau covers, some of them don't. All the way over there, one of them got a tonneau cover. Let's go cover. check out the bed line back right there. Kind of, I kind of like that, dude. Right here, dude, I love that actually, Ooh, dude. That is nice and clean. It doesn't have the little plug-in thing right here, and this is a Rubicon. I wonder mm. if this Rubicon has it right this here. This definitely got to have it. Nope. No. Nope. What? what? Man, we got the dude. highest of the high. <laughs> we got the. No, we don't. We don't. I don't know if we got the highest of the high because we don't. I guess you get you, you get to just, spec it out. Yeah, you spec your own Rubicon out, but you definitely. Uh, I'd recommend having that plug-in in the back for anything especially if you're off-roading and also i noticed that we we're the only ones that got a manual out here i looked at all of them all of them are automatic i guess that's just preference you know we're trying to you know just stick to the manual we like manuals or whatnot yeah but i definitely love this color right here but that's pretty much it they're all different and we're just gonna make ours pretty dang different as well we're gonna do a lift kit and all that good stuff but as of right now let's head back home all right so we are back from the dealership and we got our plastic trim pieces that cover up the seat belts right here and also we got some 2020 dodge conversion things that will be in the later video but right now we do have a service 4x4 light that i noticed while we were driving so i'm guessing we need to go test it out see if our 4x4 actually works because it could be a serious problem but for sure dude let's let's go do some simple yeah sense. we haven't even threw did we ever throw this thing at 4x4 no we haven't all righty boys so we are at some better proven grounds here and we got some mud dude dude it's muddy it's dude it's real muddy but yeah, that's a perfect test right now i'm gonna go ahead and drop it in four low we're low and do a little send across this little creek over here. Should I lock him? Or I'm just gonna no, leave don't, him No, no, you don't need to lock him, man. This, this is a Rubicon. Come on now. Woo-wee. She's eating that mud up. Oh, we are stuck. No, we're not. A little bit of mud bogging. Oh, there we go. Put on your lockers. Send it in reverse. Full send. You'd be better off in two-wheel drive. <laughs> really <laughs> that's crazy we got a little problem on our hands maybe yeah, it won't it won't just it won't lock for some reason it just says to shift axle shift to four wheel drive low and i am in four low it's still blinking it says axle lock canceled so mm, put in four high maybe fight it fight it like you're fishing Oh. Get out of there or what? We sure did. Dang, you got mud all over your face. But, dude, it's kind of embarrassing in a Rubicon. It's only like two inches of mud, and then it got stuck. It just won't lock. I think maybe we got to check. Uh, are these electronic or air lockers? I think they're electronic. Yeah, we they got, are electronic. We got to definitely service that because 
uh, we can't get stuck in this Rubicon in two inches of mud. Alrighty guys, we are back from a little bit of mud bogging and man, that sucks that the four x four isn't working, but we're definitely gonna figure that out probably in the next video because we're gonna need that because this thing is gonna get built and we're gonna be crawling this thing, off-roading this thing and everything in between. But that is gonna be a wrap for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything. And also, if you want an inside scoop before YouTube, definitely give us a follow on Instagram. If you wanna copy one of these brand new Goon Squad t-shirts, Goon Squad in the American flag and it says dang sun right there. These are very limited and if you wanna help support your boys, be sure to visit goonsquad.com and get you one. So with all that being said, thank you guys for all the love and support. Be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below and we'll catch you next time. Peace.